the spot, look at extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma test the sky. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot, look at extra fly. For the day I die. So today is another busy-ish weekend. Yesterday was pretty chill, went on a hike, it was really nice. A lot of like errands to do, I need to start back on to the store. I haven't, surprisingly, I haven't been grocery shopping all week, which is, I don't even know how I manage to do that. Normally I'll go like at least once a week, but sometimes twice to do that like ASAP, like within the next 30 minutes because right after that I'm gonna head out to the track to do some training a few other kids that are joining us today so I'm gonna make sure I'm on time for that and then after that finish my laundry hopefully fingers crossed exporting this vlog not this one but the previous one I have not been doing my Sunday postings lately I've just the weeks have been going by and it hasn't been top priority to be honest just because I've had other shoots and stuff. The rest of this month as far as like weekends go are going to be pretty busy too so I just gotta find time to take care of myself. Let's get to it. It's crazy I haven't had to go down past my <laughs> nipple in like so long. I'm probably going to cut a decent amount of the ends and re-trim up like the layer pieces or if I because every time I am about to cut my hair I like want to do a big chop for whatever reason <laughs> and I've done it before but it's like why do I keep wanting to do that but probably going to do about that much let's go probably going to go to uh, probably gonna go to Trader Joe's and then if I have enough time, I'll do grocery outlet. Push these niggas off me like I go in the pharmaceutical the studio and Kayla fresh out. We'll see who shows up. I'm a little nervous because I haven't been running like that. Oh here goes Marcus. But um yeah, it should be fun. And yeah, Ooh, it's gonna be winded. My camera might die, so I don't think I'm gonna get the whole um, workout, but I'm gonna get it. Coconut water, it just adds like a good refreshing sweetness. And I'm running out of collagen too. Today I'm over here, back near my college. Just finished up helping out Shanice with her classroom. She's getting everything ready for her upcoming school year with her students. They're about to be back in school in a couple weeks, so she has to set up the classroom, get everything good. I remember coming over here and taking the wrong Mooney and being in this neighborhood, but I never 
realize how nice it is. I should have walked over here more. Anyways, I just finished up, so I'm about to go grab something to eat and then head out to work. But yeah, I thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys some of the little areas. I'm about to stop to eat at one of the places that I used to work at, a spot called Lemonade. They have different locations like in LA and other places too. I'm about to eat there, I haven't ate there in so long. It's crazy being over here. Like, and immediately when I'm coming over here, I'm like, yeah, this is the weather that I had to deal with for years. This depressing, cloudy weather year round. Like coming from the other side of the bridge, right now it's 80, like 82 degrees in the East Bay where I live at. And coming over here, it is now 60 degrees. Super like just white, gray sky. Yeah, it doesn't feel like summer at all. They don't really get a summer season. This is pretty much how it is most of the time in this part of San Francisco. Have like their random days of sunshine, but most of the time it's like this. I'm in the West Portal area and that's where I'm about to get my food at. It's just so crazy being back over here. I'm glad that she asked me to come and help out. Yeah, I'm actually really hungry though because I didn't I only had like a small breakfast and it's like 4.30 almost right now. So <laughs> that breakfast was at like, I don't know, like 12. So I need to eat something. Oh my gosh, now I gotta wait like two to four hours <laughs> for this next light. This light be turning so slow. Yeah, quickly remembered how difficult parking is. <laughs> I almost got lucky too, but there's a car in front of me that pulled into the spot um, that I was going to go into while this other car was pulling out. And it was like literally right in front, but that's okay. Just going to park in the neighborhood. And I just got to remember where I'm at. This is West Portal. I used to take Muni to work over here every day. Hopefully, I don't come back with a ticket. I shouldn't be too long. Lemonade is pretty expensive, <laughs> so it's definitely not a place that I be going to often. When I worked there, we obviously used to get stuff for free, so I never really had to pay. I'm looking back at it, I'm like, how was there ever any like regulars that came there? Because you could easily spend like $20 on a very small portion meal. <laughs> Hi. You guys still do it by the uh, little portions? Oh, that's the portion size? Oh, okay. Three of the market, please. Okay, I'll do that, the bowl. Sweet potato mandarin thing. That's an interesting combination. It's actually pretty good. Cool. My favorite though is their jerk chicken and green beans. And then I just got the soba. I knew we just but then I didn't Hopefully it wasn't that packed. I was able to just grab it and go. Am I on the right street? Let's hope that I'm on the right street. Oh yeah, I am. Do not miss these hills. Okay. I wish I could, I wish I had more time to just kind of reminisce and explore, but I do have to get into work. Throwing on some light makeup. Um, I was actually supposed to be going to my passport appointment, 
which I had to reschedule because I did not have because I did not have all of my like documents ready. I just it was my fault. I just wasn't being prepared. The appointment kind of I kind of forgot about it and it snuck up on me and I woke up super late and I would have had to rush to like go get the rest of the photocopies of stuff and I didn't take my passport picture yet which I planned to do before I went to the appointment. It was just a whole thing. So me being underprepared, um, now I have to wait a whole other month to get this done, which is okay um, because my goal for myself was to do it by this year and it'll still be within this year. However, um, I just wanted to get it over with. You know? I would have had to like rush to go get copies of stuff and make it there on time. And I didn't want to start my morning off like that. <clears throat> so I was like, you know what? I'll take the L. It's on me. <clears throat> it's my fault. So, yeah, I'm going to wait another month. But it's not like I'm going anywhere out of the country, like, anytime soon that I would need it by a certain date. Um, so it's like, it's whatever. It's not that urgent. I just, it's just something that's been a goal of mine to have so that by next year I could be traveling internationally but yeah so now i'm a little bit discombobulated this morning because i was trying to rush to get everything together and then when i realized i wasn't going to be able to and i only had like 30 more minutes left until the appointment i was like you know what let me just collect myself slow down and i'm gonna just reschedule this be more prepared and be able to enjoy the rest of my morning so i made my coffee i cleaned up and now I'm about to finish editing some stuff. Highlight is um, it's highlighted today. Okay. I did have my lashes done um, a while ago, and they are just like hang <laughs> they're hanging on by a thread now. There's like a few of them, and it looks all crazy. And I hate this like um, I hate this part of having your lashes done because they just come to the stage where it looks really crazy so I'm probably gonna I'm debating on refilling them or just removing the last few and like letting my eyelashes kind of relax for a minute but I have been enjoying the look um, I don't be doing much every day if I'm not like going anywhere I'm just gonna be here and at the gym and at work but uh to show you guys what I use, these are like these blush and bronzer LA girl sticks. So this is what I use to just like give my face some life. And then this is a very old Too Faced palette that I use um, the highlighter colors. These two. Um, I actually really love this palette. This is probably one of my favorite ones. That's why it's the go-to because it just has like browns and neutral stuff. And the highlighter is really pretty. And that's about it normally. Oh, and I do my brows. This one is the Ardell brow pencil. I really don't care which brow pencil. I'm not very like, um, I will use the e.l.f. one. I love the e.l.f. one actually. Any like cheap brow pencil they all pretty much do the same thing for me so and if i did not have lashes on i would use this mascara i'm not very picky with mascara either as long as the brush looks a certain way if the brush looks like full like this then i will i feel like it's good but yeah also i've been trying this new deodorant because i really don't care about like if it's clear like i know it's bad but i don't care about like if it's clean, deodorant, and paraben-free, as long as it's gonna work <laughs> and not have me smelling, give me all the chemicals, I don't care. <laughs> but um, I have tried Native. I did like Native to an extent. Um, I think just certain scents of Native uh, did more, did better than other scents. I think sometimes other natural deodorants that are like off-brand ones or ones that I've tried. <clears throat> I can't remember the names of them, but after a while I feel like they expire because I remember using this one, this like natural one that was like a native dupe and it worked really well at first and then 
I revisited it and it just was not <laughs> vibing well. So I think after a while they kind of expire. But this one I picked up at Target. And this scent, it's in Kiwi Cucumber. Oh my gosh, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna be honest, one thing that I don't like about natural deodorants is the way that they feel when you're putting it on. But this one, the smell has been really pleasant and it definitely does pretty well, like with sweat and everything. So I'm gonna keep testing it out because I've only been trying it for a couple days, but I'm actually messing with it. Other ones, my primary ones. Why did I say it like that? My primary ones. But the primary ones that I use are just the Dove like dry spray. I feel like they hold up with sweat a lot better. That's this little natural thing thing out. See what it's talking about. Um, but yeah, I'm about to I'm about to drink the rest of my coffee and do some more editing work. Hopefully, get outside for a walk and a workout and yeah oh yeah i forgot to mention too the other reason why i was like putting on light makeup today is because since i missed my appointment i'm still gonna take my uh, passport photo today just so i could have it out the way and done um i know that you can get it taken there and all that stuff but i feel like it's just another thing i, I just feel like i can do it at home like obviously i have backdrops i'm a photographer like i could take my own self-portrait and just have one less thing to have to worry about so I'm either gonna set up my white background and just take a picture there or I could literally use this and just make sure that the dimensions and everything are right and be able to um, bring that with me on my appointment I'll probably show you guys that later if I set up a thing to to take the photo <laughs> Let's get this workout. Oh, baby. <laughs> 